Hey guys, just Martin here with a very quick video once again. I've had a lot of people ask me questions about things like um, how important is nutrition, how important is exercise if you want to get really great weight loss results. So I thought I'd put this really quick presentation together for you. What you can see on the screen there, that pyramid, is something called the hierarchy of weight loss. It basically shows us all the bits and pieces that we have to get in the, in the order in the right order to get really really great weight loss results starting at the top of the pyramid the most important thing to get in place to see really great weight loss results is of course mindset in fact it's so important it's number two on the pyramid as well if you're not in the right place in your mind your mindset isn't focused you don't have that goal you're going to really struggle to get those weight loss results to get really amazing weight loss results in fact, it's so important, I'm not actually a coach in that sort of in terms of mindset. My expertise is all around nutrition and exercise. That's why on my programs, we actually use a specialist life, lifestyle coach, which is Claire. Claire focuses in on mindset, setting goals, things like that, help you get the best possible results from your time with us. So the next most important thing in weight loss, what is it? Hormonal balance. I touched on this in one of my previous videos. Hormones play a really big part on where and how you store body fat. Get your hormonal balance right of your body, weight loss then becomes easy. Believe it or not, the next thing on the list is correct nutrition. There's an old saying that abs were created, abs are created in the kitchen, not in the gym. That's 100% right. Round about 70% of your results on any weight loss journey will come from your nutrition. Get your nutrition right, the rest falls nicely into place. So we'll get the mindset right, you've got your goal set, we've got the hormonal balance right, then we focus on nutrition. Get nutrition right, everything else falls into place. And finally, the thing that you probably think is most important, but actually isn't, is exercise. As you can see, there's a number of different types of exercise. Again, each of those different types of exercise, each of those different styles of training, deliver a different sort of result, the best being at the top. Okay, so what are they? First of all, metabolic resistance training. This is by far and scientifically proven to be the best sort of exercise available if weight loss is your goal. These are things like body weight exercises, like push-ups and squats and lunges. In the gym, things where you've got to lift weights, things like that. These exercises cause little tears in your muscle tissue, which means your body has to spend time repairing those tears, which means it uses a lot more calories in that process. So this by far is the absolute best way to exercise if you want to see fantastic results in super quick time. Next up is what we call interval training. Interval training, there's two there. There's high intensity anaerobic interval training and high intensity aerobic interval training. Interval training quite simply is where you work as hard and as fast as you can for a really short period of time, then you recover. So for example, if running's your thing, you sprint as hard and as fast as you can for a short period of time, let's say 20 to 30 seconds. You then take 30 seconds of just walking along, doing nothing at all. This again is an amazing way to get into great shape. The reason I've got two up there, the anaerobic and the aerobic, the difference there is with or without oxygen. So basically anaerobic, your body uses, um, it doesn't use any oxygen, in the um, energy process, so it produces better results. The problem is that can only uh, last for a very short period of time, so this is really, really short bursts of energy. Say 10 to 15 to 20 seconds worth big burst of energy, then a big recovery time. Again, there's the aerobic type, this would be 30 seconds, 40 seconds of intense exercise, followed by a big recovery time. Again, great sort of exercise, you can do it running, you can do it in a swimming pool, you can do it on a bike, Again, you can do it with bodyweight exercises as well. A lot of my programs use this as, um, with bodyweight exercises. Okay, next up, the final two in the pyramid, steady state aerobic training. Again, two intensities, high intensity, low intensity. These are things like just going out for a walk, going out for a run, a steady swim, maybe taking a bike ride. This is steady state. So we're working for a st at a steady pace over a longer period of time. Things like aerobics classes, Zumba classes, things like that, these fall into the steady state 
aerobic training pretty much aerobics that's where aerobics comes from a steady state aerobic training again different intensities depending on how hard the class is how hard the session is how hard the workout is put them all together starting at the top that delivers the best possible weight loss results in the shortest period of time going all the way down to the bottom again will deliver weight loss results but obviously in a shorter period of time there is actually place for all of those in a program a lot of my programs that I write include, include a lot of those so we start off with some metabolic resistance training some um, push-ups squats that sort of thing you know body weight exercises we introduce some aerobic tra some interval training where we work for short periods of time and we have a long period of recovery and again some low intensity aerobic training swims walks things like that great for recovery as well so get everything in the right place guys weight loss becomes an easy thing so there we go once again get that mindset right focus on nutrition get your nutrition right and then introduce some training various sorts of training do all that weight loss becomes an easy and maintainable thing thanks for your time guys any questions at all please remember to post them in the facebook group